All right, welcome back to part three of the farmhouse handrail. Uh, see how far we get. Okay, so I laid these out. I just measure the length. I get, you know, it has to be close to four inches. Uh, this, I divided by 10. If I would have went another, a little bit under, it would have been too much. It would have been like four and a half between. And the, uh, the pickets, would have been, it would have been marginal. It would have been too close. They're a little bit close together, but they're like a little less than, than four. So it's gonna end up like three and three quarter. This ends up at four and an eighth. It's just, a, you know, you're just limited by the space. On a bigger run, you know, it's not as noticeable. I don't think you're gonna notice on here, but it is what it is and it has to be that way. So, uh, it can't really be more than four. I mean, it could because this house isn't, they didn't pull a permit on this house so it's not to code. So, you know what? I might, I might redo that one and make it closer to four because this is, four and an eighth, which is plenty. And I think that ends up at four and a half, which will be marginal with the five eighths picket. Oh, I, you know, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like it is. So those are laid out. So what I'm gonna do now is, this is 37 inches high. I wanna come maybe a half inch below this. Uh, so I'm gonna go to 36 on here. With the half inch thick tube, that'll put me at 36 and a half. I'm just gonna clamp it up there and see how it looks. Um, I'm sure it'll be good. So let's do that. Again. Quarter, three quarter, okay, good there. I like the way that looks with that half inch gap. I'm going with that. I'm going to tack that on. I'm going to weld it. Clean this to fit a little bit. Check the corner. Okay. The 
bottom is going to be two inches off. So I'm going to set that there. Put this here. Measure. This is inch and a half, so it's going to be one inch. From the edge. sweaty. It's hot. It's humid. So I'm probably done for the day here. I got to go all the way across town and pick up some some drawer parts. Um, I'm making some wood uh, coffee tables for my house with some metal bases. My cabinet guy cut them. That's going to be uh, in a different video. But I'm going to show it. It'll be on Instagram. Uh, this will be on Instagram uh, before it's installed. I gotta get my, I gotta get YouTube going. So I'll be back tomorrow. All right, new day. Got all the uh, pickets cut. Ended up being uh, 33 and uh, short, three quarter. So lined it up on the tape. Actually cut three quarter. So they ended up good. Um, D Burnham. D burn them and uh, they fit pretty good. A little loose there. That one's a little loose. I did um, I did redraw this after I thought about it. 
This ended up being uh, four and a quarter, but with the thickness of the tubing, you're gonna be, it's gonna be under four, or just right at four. I think it would look, uh, since they were so close together, it ended up being four and an eighth on this side, four and a quarter on this side. It'll look better than the other way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, tack all these up, get them all in place. We'll start in the middle. So I put a mark both directions, going this way and that way, to make it easier to place them. Just tack in the corner, so you can bring the weld to it. Tack in the middle of the tube. The weld ends up being a little funky. Um, one other thing, when you um, mark these out, you know, you get them all marked out and you do all your work and everything and you go to tack this piece on and this tack this piece on, just make sure you tack it on the right way so you don't end up with your lines on the top. <laughs> that was a no big deal, but I tried to do that. So I'm going to uh, weld this up. Uh, you don't need to see that. And then uh, this part will be done. The posts are done for the uh, stair part. I just need to make some tabs. I pre-make the tab before I go out. Um, so I think I'll, I'll show you this when it's done sitting on the ground. But um, the next step is heading out to the job site and doing that. So let me weld this up. I'll call the homeowner and Maybe we can go up there in the morning. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, one more after this. Finish up this handrail. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like. Like the video because you liked it. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one.